Go back to Roman times and you'll find people believed in the healing powers of mineral springs. Tumors, skin diseases, joint pain, all could be helped by water from the right spring. 250 years ago, doctors would still tell their patients to drink mineral water, even instructing them on how many glasses to drink. And for those who couldn't afford to travel to the springs, or just didn't have the time, entrepreneurs stepped in, offering artificial mineral water. They would add stuff like Epsom salts to ordinary water, just to make it taste minerally. But no one knew how to add bubbles. And the more bubbles, people thought, the healthier the water. But that all changed in the late 1760s, when a man named Joseph Priestley found himself living next to a brewery. Now Priestley was many things. He was a minister, a political troublemaker, and he was also one of the great scientists of his age. He discovered oxygen. But most of all, Priestley wanted to help ordinary people which is where the brewery comes in. Priestley was, as far as we know, the first person to collect the carbon dioxide released by the brewing process and add it to ordinary water. He tasted it the morning after and described it as pleasant. 